Hey everyone, Vinayak here. This is the UDIAG CR720 and OBD2 EOBD diagnostic tool, OBD or Onboard Diagnostics. It fits in more cars after 1996 and it allows us to query data like RPM, horsepower, if any service lights are on and why, etc. As cars are becoming more and more computerized, diagnostic information is now easily available. So let's take a closer look at this device. This is the UDAG CR720, an OBD2 EOBD diagnostic tool. It's an all-in-one device. You can read codes, clear codes, check emissions, view freeze data. Here's UDAG's social media links. There are more features listed here. Let's open the box. We have a manual. And here's the device. The device has a screen and buttons to navigate the interface. It doesn't need any batteries as power is drawn from, from the OBD port itself. Because of that, it's quite light at only 248 grams. The back has the certifications. Here's the OBD port itself. It's a male port. The cable provided is around 2 feet long. The CR720 supports full OBD2 10 test modes. It can't be powered other than via the OBD port. So let's get to a car. I need to find my car's OBD port. Mine is under the dash or the steering wheel. Most cars after 2009 have an OBD or onboard diagnostic port. The OBD port is always found on the driver's side of the car, sometimes under the steering or even to the side. It should be listed in your manual, else just google it. Make sure your car is off before plugging in the device. Plug it in and it's instantly active. The port provides the adapter with power, so no external power source is required. Now that the device is on, we can see the various options on screen. It's a nice 1.7 inch color LCD screen with a resolution of 160 by 128. Pretty clear. The device is rated to work between 0 to 60 Celsius or 32 Fahrenheit to 140 Fahrenheit. On the home screen, we have diagnosis, battery, DTC lib and settings. Within settings, we can set the language. There are 8 to choose from. Units of measurement, we have English and metric units. India uses metric units. Key beep volume, if you don't like it, turn it down to zero. Backlight brightness. Now for the main functionality. Diagnosis, the device is now scanning the car. It wants me to turn the car's ignition on. Okay. Turn it on again and ah, there we go, we have the information displayed on screen. All functions are now accessible. Read codes. We can read if there are any error codes on the car. If the problems have been rectified, we can erase them which is generally resetting them. If the error persists, it will reappear. Mine doesn't have any error codes at present. Hit exit button to go back on screen. Here's the live PCM data. We can view graphs on multiple parameters. Graph data shows the relative change in the parameter you are monitoring. I'm accelerating, we can see the change in the graph. Live RPM monitoring. Yeah, this shows the Indian's RPM at the bottom right. We can see the vehicle information. Now battery measurement. It shows the current voltage, 14 volts. We can monitor the battery if it has any voltage leaks. Battery life measurement, which is a graph on its current status. So basically, it does everything that an OBD code reader should. It connects quickly and its display is quite clear. Even in the dark, the UI is quite intuitive even for a beginner like me. And for most advanced functions, I honestly don't know what these graphs mean. So if you are curious to know what's going on inside your car and how service centers query data to know what's wrong, this is a nifty little device to check out. So that was the video. Make sure to like subscribe and hit the notification bell to be notified when new videos are added. Thank you for watching and see you all next time.